Hey guys, Liam here, and on today's STEM Hype video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a voice modifier. And all you need is some card. I've got a wide range of card here. You can buy these at your supermarket or your craft shop store. You're going to need some scissors for cutting things. You're going to need a pencil. We're going to be uh, measuring out some lines and stuff. Some tape. I've got double-sided tape here. Some pens if you want to be decorating your voice modifier. Cellophane. I've got red cellophane here. I've got blue cellophane here. I've also got some yellow cellophane I can choose from and also some gold cellophane. I've got some rubber bands. I'll need one rubber band um, for each voice modifier I make. Oh, one more thing, I need a ruler to do some measurements. Sweet. Now that we have everything we need, I'm gonna go ahead and choose a color. I'm gonna choose, oh, this green is just screaming out to me, all right, I'm gonna choose green because this is just vibey right here. All right, the first measurement is 10 centimeters up. So I get the rule up, I measure from 10 all the way up and it's got a nice line right here, just like so. Awesome. And now it's 14 wide. So grab the ruler. Make sure you take your time on this part, guys, because I've messed this up a few times. So just take your nice, sweet time, get the ruling right, keep it straight. All right, finish off by drawing a line across. Cool. Awesome. All right, so now I've got this nice looking rectangular thing there. That is gonna be my base for my voice modifier. Awesome stuff, team. Now I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'm gonna go ahead and cut out that base. Yep. So just take your time on the scissors. Nice and easy. All right, we've finished the base now. I've got this nice looking rectangle here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab my double-sided tape. If you don't have double-sided tape, guys, you can use sellotape, you can use hot glue, you can use duct tape if you want. Just any sort of tape that will keep your voice modifier together works well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna have two strips of tape on the white side, and then you're gonna cut. Cool, one down, one to go. Awesome. Awesome, so if you're following along with the double-sided tape team, we've got two, one on top of each other, and now we're just gonna peel those layers off. In times like this, I really wish I had long nails. I also wish I was Spider-Man in times like this. Imagine how easy to say, boom, done. Awesome, that was actually pretty good. All right, now what we're gonna do, guys, we've got the tape like that, is we're gonna put the tape like that and wrap it over. Awesome, we've got that nice, clean looking cylinder look. Now if you're not using double-sided tape, all you do is you grab the tape and pretend this was tape. You just tape right across on top of that, like that, on both sides, just to make sure it's nice and strong. All right, now we've got a bit of a cylinder thing going on. Awesome, awesome. Now we need some cellophane. I'm gonna choose the gold. All right, and we're gonna wrap that on like that. We're gonna grab a rubber band, I'll choose yellow, and we just need to wrap it around once, twice, three times, however many times it makes to get this nice and secure. Awesome, okay, we're almost done. Finishing touches, you can grab the scissors and give this bad boy a haircut, just to make it look cool. Now things you can use your voice modifier for, phone calls. You can make your voice sound like a robot and it's really cool, you can completely change the way your voice sounds. All right, almost finished giving this bad boy a haircut. Oh, he's got some like dreads going on here. And that is your voice modifier, guys. Real simple, the cool thing about a voice modifier is it reminds us when you're feeling unheard, you have a story and your story is important. So that's that, guys, a voice modifier. I've got a whole collection of voice modifiers here. You can even customize it. I put flames on one of mine. Um, took some time, but it was really cool, and I think it came out real cool. So yeah, just have fun, customize them, and go hard.